prior to us coming to the White House, we had the, a previous administration negotiated a Korean free trade deal. Uh, and in the Korean free trade deal, the U.S. opened up our auto market to Korean autos and Korea opened up their market to U.S. autos. And, you know, President Trump comes in and, you know, he says, so tell me, how are we doing? And, you know, Koreans have really great cars. They've got a big share of the U.S. market. And there's not like a single U.S. car sold in Korea, like not one or just about not one. And so then we dig in, like, why is that? And it turns out that uh, it, this is it, it's kind of a long story, but it's an example of how we're getting screwed all the time in these trade deals. And President Trump fixed it. Uh, so, so when you go buy a car, right, you get the price from Consumer Reports or something, right? And then you go into the dealer and you drive a hard bargain. And the dealer doesn't really make money when they sell you a car. Hmm. Um, when they make the money is when you take it in to get service. Right. Right. Uh, and then you're probably going to be loyal to them. And so five or 10 years, you're going to go in once or twice a year. And it mm -hmm. seems like it always costs 500 bucks at least, right? Whatever you take it in to get service. That's a minimum, to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And so that's where they make the money. Well, in the Korean, the previous Korean free trade deal, uh, the Koreans agreed to allow U.S. companies to sell the cars in Korea, but not to service them. Oh, okay. And we had signed off on that. Yeah. And, and so the point is that these trade deals are filled with thousands of lines of stuff that clever people, you know, basically negotiated with, you know, loser previous administrations that didn't actually understand what was happening to them. And they were cleaning our clock. And, and, and so on the trade front, you know, I went in and I'm like, oh, geez, tariffs, you know, if you put them in an economic model, it's really going to hurt the country. Ooh. But he put these tariffs on. And then all of a sudden, Korea says, OK, we don't want the tariffs, so let's renegotiate the deal. And then we actually got a good deal.